Hey guys, welcome to this quick tip on how to hide warnings for unused functions in GameMaker Studio 2.3. As of now, GameMaker Studio 2.3 is in beta, so this might be something addressed in coming updates on being able to address this issue of uh, warnings for unused functions and being able to hide them, but right now we can't hide them. And uh, so as you can see from this little example project I have here, down here I have my uh, syntax errors tab open and you can see it cluttered with some of these uh, warnings here which I don't actually want for all but one of the functions here. So I'm just going to show you a quick way of how to hide these warnings and uh, just keep it a clean way and have it self-document so people reading the script can see the intention behind this. So the one way we can do this of course is and through GameMaker we can go to File, Prefer Preferences, um, Languages, GML and we could deselect the enable variable reference warnings. If I hit that and apply, and we can see that it's removed all the warnings um, from here, but that disables the warnings also for just general variables, and um, which is, can be very useful. I mean, for preventing like typos and stuff when you type the wrong word with a uppercase or lowercase wrong, and then you get like a compile error, and you're like, why is it not working? So we actually want this enabled because I mean for sanity's sake, I think it's good. So today I'm just going to show you like one way to leave that enabled, but still hide the unused functions that we don't want the warnings for, which can be very useful for using it as like a library for other users, users to use. And you may not want them to like use all the functions, like you may only use it like a handful of them, um, but you don't want to clutter their uh, syntax errors thing down here with all these warnings and they, may, they might freak out and be like why am I getting these warnings and it's not actually needed. So I'm just going to show you a really clean and quick way to hide them. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to at the very top of the script here I'm just going to write var hide warnings. So I'm creating a local variable called hide warnings. You can name this whatever you want. Um, but in this case this just gives it really clear of what we're intending to do. And then I'm going to type it out again. Hide warnings equals and now I'm going to write out the names of the functions I want to hide. I don't actually want to hide the init function here because theoretically I'd want to actually call that at least once in the game. So I'm not going to hide that but the rest of the functions I'm going to type out as um, here and I'm going to add them together and it's going to actually hide them. So as I'll show you here. So I'm going to write out add numbers plus multiply numbers plus trace plus derp. And when I save it, we will now see that all of these warnings now go away, and it's now decluttered our syntax errors thing down here. But it's still left the uh, for function in it. Um, now I will note when you do this, make sure you write the flat version of the function name. Don't actually call the function, so don't put the, the brackets at the end. Otherwise, you're going to potentially call the functions, and that won't be good. Um, so yeah, so now we've hidden the actual uh, functions, and because we don't need the warnings here. And by writing out this way, we're explicitly showing if someone opens the script, they can see that this is what we've intended clearly. Uh, you may wonder, be, you might be wondering why I've like written this out twice. That's because if I don't do it this way, I'm going to get a warning for hide warnings itself, which is kind of not very great. So writing out so by writing it out twice we're just making sure that I'm also hiding the hide warnings as well now there's probably a way that you could put this into a script and um, do it something like hide warnings and then do something like this you know you could probably do something into it whatever but I'll leave it up to you guys this is um, you know, good enough for now. Just a quick way, an easy way to uh, hide your warnings and uh, get on your way and declutter things. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Until next time. Bye.